Hi there. In this video, we're going to expand on what we've learned about arrays and how to modify them after we've initially created them. I have right here an array that I've called my array. Just like in the previous example, this is populated with the four names of some family members of mine. So when we actually access each one of these, we're using the array notation to then pick out one of the items. The thing is, the array has been built. How do I actually add or modify an item inside of the array? Well, let's talk about first adding an item. So when I look at this array, I've got four items. So I have element 0, element 1, element 2, and element 3. I want to create element 4. So what I could do is if I actually, let me actually comment out these last two lines and show you what would happen if I tried to access element 4 now. You'll notice I get undefined. That's because element 4 doesn't exist. So what we need to do is add an element at the end. ActionScript actually gives us a really easy way to do this using a method called push. Let me uncomment my lines here and I'll show you how this push statement works. By accessing my array, the object that is the array itself, we then access its push method. Inside the parentheses, we put in what object we want to append at the end of the array. In this case, it's the name Tim. If I run this now, you notice that I still get the original undefined on the first line in the output panel because Tim at that point doesn't exist. But then when I use the push method, it adds Tim at the end, and now I'm able to access that particular element. Now, if I wanted to, if I wanted to actually modify a name that's in this particular uh, in this particular list already, I can access its unique identifier and then modify or replace the, the, what, the value that's already there. So let's add some code at the end of this just to demonstrate this. So I'm going to access my array. I'm going to access, let's, uh, let's replace me. What the heck? All right, so let's access my array 0. And now we want to assign it a new value. So let's go into this and let's put in Sid. Okay. Let's trace the new value of my uh, array element 0. And let's see what happens. You notice that SID is, is displayed at the bottom. That's because in that last line on line 11, we've taken the value of Doug and we've replaced it with the value of SID. So now Doug is no longer in this array. This is how we can modify some of the different areas of, of, a, of an array. In the next video, we're going to learn how we can actually remove an element but still preserve, the, preserve all the other elements in the array.